Hey BoobTube, DistortionX 1957 here, uh, bringing you a short little video on a modification I did. Uh, first off, let me start off by saying that uh, I uh, purchased this um, uh, slim model Xbox. It's a Corona V4, 4 gigabyte. Um, I purchased it, or I went to go purchase it, and uh, popped to, or opened up the tray and saw that it was a light on. Uh, noticed that it was made in 2012 or something like that. So. I figured I'd be safe to assume that it was a DG4S uh, light on and uh, at the most I would have to replace the PZB for $30 or do a kamikaze hack if it wasn't a MXIC chipset. So um, I opened up the console, I installed uh, the CR4, by the way, kicks ass, boots real quick, first glitch almost every single time, if not maybe a two glitch cycle here and there. Anyway, blah, blah. Um, so I install it, get it working. Uh, before I slap the case on and everything to put it back together, I was like, okay, well, I'm going to flash the drive and uh, so I can play my burnt games. Well, I pull the drive out and I look at it and I'm about to crack it open and I see that it is a DG5S. So I'm like, shit, you know. I should have paid attention to this, but I mean, regardless, I bought the console. It's not like I was going to sit there and tear it apart. And then if, since I saw that it was a, a later model DVD drive, what am I going to say? Sorry, I don't want it. It's going to cost me more money to mod it. <laughs> so anyway, um, I was kind of bummed about that. And, and I kind of had this thought in the back of my head because I was in this situation before uh, with a Trinity model. Um, it had a Winbond chipset and a DG4S drive, and I really didn't want to spend the money on a PCB because where I could get them, actually the only place that I could get them at was a little outrageous on the pricing, so I kind of steered away from that. And then I really didn't feel like drilling a freaking hole into the chip. It sounds kind of stupid, but I actually tried it, and it worked out great. Didn't have any issues. Worked the first time, so I thought it was cool. But like I said, I was already thinking about this type of situation prior to this Xbox. So I kind of had that thought in the back of my head. So first off, you need to grind off the hoops or the bumps here, actually feet that uh, allow, uh, play a part in holding the console together because the bolts go through the bottom and then through these little boot holes and then screw into the top of the case. So a fat model DVD drive has these bumps and legs on all four sides slim model does not so you have to modify the drive physically to uh, put it in there not only that you have to inject well not inject but you have to spoof the DVD key from the console onto this DVD drive now if you don't know how to do that then I wouldn't be messing with trying anything like this at all because that should be the first thing that you should learn is flash and DVD drives and not the RGH but anyway, um, so once you fit the drive in there, hook this up to Jungle Flasher, flash your console's DVD key onto this one. You don't have to spoof, spoof it to look like a different drive. Just spoof the key from this console, put the key from this console onto this DVD drive, uh, put it back together, and uh, you do have to rebuild your image if you haven't already done that. And what you do is... Come over here to J Runner. Obviously, you load up your uh, source file, NAND dump, such and such. Um, it's all the same, really. Um, select your dashboard, NAND type, uh, glitch type, and then you have to come over here to patch patches and dash launch, and you have to select no uh, FCRT. And what this does is, is it disables the security check for newer light-on DVD drives, which uh, is in the slims. So once you build your image with this option right here selected, um, create your uh, create your XE build image, and flash this new image. Or like I said, if you haven't done it yet and you're doing this all at once, uh, flat make the image with this option selected and flash it to your console. Um, like I said before, if you don't know how to flash the DVD drive, then uh, I don't see how you're able to do this RGH. So hopefully you know that. But uh, 
it works really good I haven't had any issues and to be honest this DVD drive the older uh, light on seems maybe it's all in my head but it seems to load things up faster than uh, the newer light on drives but anyway I'll do a little demo here boot it up for you guys so you can see that it is it is a little bit louder than uh, the newer drives but I really don't give a shit I'm uh, very happy with the fact that I don't have to spend thirty to sixty dollars depending on where you buy it um, on an unlocked PCB for uh, the newer DVD drives but as you can see uh, that was one glitch boots up pretty damn fast that's the CR4 for y'all um, open it up as you can see it's a uh, fat model like I said and uh, it plays my burn games now don't attempt this on a retail console because it just won't work and if you're able to get it to read the game somehow by building a fake image or something like that you're just gonna get banned this is only uh, for RGH or f free boot consoles um, anyway close it up as you can see that was a burned disc play game battlefield 4 anyway so yeah get your DVD drive or after you've RGH your console or in the middle of it well regardless you have to RGH it first anyway because you need your DVD key because wait uh, no you cannot pull the key off this this thing is completely uh, protected I don't even think you can pull the key off of it I may be wrong, but I know damn well you can't flash this damn thing. You have to buy an unlocked PCB, I know that much. Don't know if you get the key off of it or not. But uh, I was already, already RGH in it anyway. So RGH it, get your keys, take your DVD drive, hook it up to Jungle Flasher. Uh, you don't have to change the firmware version or anything like that or spoof it to look like a different brand. All you have to do is spoof the DVD key that came from the console that you're putting it in. That's all you got to do. Okay. Grind it off, make it fit. Um, something to save you guys a little bit of time. Um, the original um, power cable it goes right here, which is this. And if you can see that, it's the blue and pink or whatever the hell you want to call it. This cable is too short. You have to use the um, fat model uh, black power cable otherwise it, it just won't fit the, the cable's not long enough um, the uh, SATA cable is fine don't worry about that that'll work just fine you might have to bend it a little bit uh, the cable itself not the, the connectors but just bend the adjust or finagle the cable to uh, move over just a tad it's fine don't worry about it it won't break um, so yeah do your thing with your drive RJ you get your shit going and uh, the way you build your image is making your load up your NAND dump, select your dashboard, NAND type, glitch type, cool runner, CR4, JTAG, or JTAG, whatever the case is, patches and dash launch. Select no FCRT. Like I said, this allows you to run older DVD drives in your RGH console. It disables the security check for the newer DVD drives. Create your image, load it up, you're good to go. Um, uh, I'm pretty sure that, uh, as a matter of fact, yes, because RGH does not do anti-piracy checks. No, RGH doesn't do AP checks, so you can use any drive, any DVD drive you want in here from a fat model. In fact, I, I, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to stick a DG4S in there. And actually, that's probably a better idea. Buy a DG4S, unlock it somehow, do the kamikaze hack or whatever, the, however the hell you want to do it, and that fits directly in there instead of having to grind it up. But if you have a fat drive sitting around and you have an RGH console, this is the way to go. Save you a bunch of money. Um, I don't know what else to say, but uh. Like, subscribe, uh, if you uh, 
want to know how to do it or you need some info, contact me. I'm more than happy to help you out. Um, I might do a little tutorial on this. Um, I'm done. Out.